Hello and welcome to this English conversation section in which I portray five conversations this time about talking about business communication so let's dive right in. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel and also don't forget to buy the best merch from my store from which I put a link in the description of every section and don't forget that the main objective of this channel is to provide the best information about all things related to English grammar to you. Talking about business communication. Conversation 1. Here's a conversation between two characters named Sarah and James discussing business communication strategies. Sarah. James, I wanted to talk about our business communication strategy. It seems like we've been facing some miscommunication issues lately. James. I agree, Sarah. I think we need to establish a clear protocol for internal messaging. How about implementing a standardized format for emails and using a project management tool for better coordination? Sarah. That sounds like a good plan. We should also consider regular team meetings to ensure everyone is on the same page and address any concerns that might arise. James. Absolutely, Sarah. Additionally, I think we should encourage more open communication among the team members to foster a collaborative environment. Maybe we can organize some team building activities to strengthen our communication channels. Sarah. Great idea, James. We should also provide training on effective communication skills for all employees, especially for those who interact with clients regularly. It would help us maintain a professional and consistent image. James. Agreed, Sarah. Let's set up a training program and make sure everyone is well versed in the best practices of business communication. It's crucial for our company's growth and reputation. Sarah. Definitely, James. I'll start drafting a comprehensive plan for implementing these changes. We should aim for a seamless and efficient communication flow that enhances our productivity and relationships both internally and externally. Conversation 2. Here's another conversation between two characters named Emily and Michael discussing the importance of effective business communication. Emily. Michael, I've noticed some misunderstandings in our recent client interactions. I think we need to revamp our communication strategy. Michael. I agree, Emily. It's crucial for us to ensure that our messages are clear and concise. How about we streamline our communication channels and use a single platform for all client interactions? Emily. That sounds like a good idea, Michael. We should also prioritize active listening during client meetings to understand their needs better. It will help us tailor our services accordingly. Michael. Absolutely, Emily. We should also consider incorporating more visual aids, such as infographics and presentations, to make complex information easier to comprehend for our clients. Emily. Yes, Michael. Additionally, I think it's essential for us to provide timely updates to our clients throughout the project lifecycle. Regular progress reports and milestone notifications would enhance transparency and trust. Michael. I completely agree, Emily. We should also train our team members to communicate with empathy and professionalism, especially during challenging situations. It's crucial to maintain a positive relationship with our clients. Emily. Indeed, Michael. Let's also encourage a culture of feedback within our team to continuously improve our communication practices. Constructive criticism can help us identify and rectify any communication gaps effectively. Michael. Definitely, Emily. I'll work on organizing a workshop to train our team members on effective communication techniques and the importance of client-centric communication. It's a vital step in ensuring our business's success and growth. Emily. Great plan, Michael. I'll start drafting a comprehensive guideline on best practices for business communication to ensure that our team has a clear roadmap to follow. This way, we can uphold a strong and consistent communication standard across all client interactions. Conversation 3. Here's another conversation between two characters named Alex and Olivia discussing the impact of effective communication in their business. Alex. Olivia, I've been thinking about how our internal communication affects our overall business operations. I believe we need to make some changes to enhance our efficiency. Olivia. I agree, Alex. It's essential for us to establish a clear and transparent communication framework within the company. How about we implement regular check-ins and update meetings to ensure everyone is aligned with our goals? Alex. That's a good idea, Olivia. 
We should also consider integrating a project management tool to centralize communication and task management. It would help us track progress and deadlines more effectively. Olivia, absolutely, Alex. In addition to that, we should encourage a culture of open dialogue and feedback among team members. Constructive criticism can lead to continuous improvement and foster a more collaborative environment. Alex, yes, Olivia. I think providing communication training for our employees, focusing on both written and verbal communication skills, would be beneficial. It could help us maintain a professional and consistent image externally as well. Olivia, I agree, Alex. We should also emphasize the importance of clarity and conciseness in all our communications, especially when dealing with clients. A clear message can prevent any misunderstandings or confusion down the line. Alex, definitely, Olivia. Let's work on creating a set of communication guidelines and protocols that everyone in the company can follow. Having a standardized approach will ensure that our business communication remains efficient and effective. Olivia, great plan, Alex. I'll start compiling the key points for the communication guidelines, and we can review them together to ensure they address the specific needs and challenges we face in our business. By implementing these changes, we can pave the way for smoother operations and stronger collaboration within the company. Conversation 4. Here's another conversation between two characters named Jason and Rachel discussing the challenges of remote business communication. Jason. Rachel, with our team working remotely, I've noticed some difficulties in maintaining effective communication. I think we need to address this issue promptly. Rachel, I agree, Jason. It's crucial for us to find ways to bridge the gap created by remote work. How about we schedule regular virtual meetings and encourage more frequent check-ins among team members? Jason, that sounds like a good start, Rachel. We should also explore using various communication tools such as video conferencing and instant messaging to facilitate real-time discussions and quick decision-making. Rachel, absolutely, Jason. Additionally, we should ensure that all team members are comfortable using these digital communication platforms by providing necessary training and technical support. Jason, yes, Rachel. We should also encourage a culture of over-communication, especially when it comes to project updates and task assignments. Clear and timely communication can help us avoid any misunderstandings or delays. Rachel, I completely agree, Jason. Let's also establish a protocol for document sharing and version control to streamline our collaborative efforts. It will ensure that everyone has access to the most up-to-date information at all times. Jason, definitely, Rachel. We should also consider organizing virtual team building activities and social events to maintain a strong sense of camaraderie and boost team morale despite the physical distance. Rachel, great idea, Jason. I'll start drafting a comprehensive remote communication guide for our team members, highlighting the best practices and tools to optimize our virtual collaboration. By implementing these measures, we can foster a more connected and productive remote work environment. Conversation 5. Here's a conversation between two characters named Lily and John, discussing the impact of effective communication on their business growth. Lily, John, I've been thinking about how our communication strategies influence our business growth. I believe we need to refine our approach to ensure we're effectively reaching our target audience. John, I agree, Lily. It's crucial for us to develop a comprehensive communication plan that aligns with our business objectives. How about we conduct a thorough analysis of our current communication channels and their effectiveness in reaching our customer base? Lily, that sounds like a good place to start, John. We should also consider leveraging various digital marketing tools and social media platforms to broaden our reach and engage with potential customers on a deeper level. John, absolutely, Lily. Additionally, we should focus on creating compelling and informative content that resonates with our audience. Consistent and valuable communication can help us establish a strong brand presence and build trust with our customers. Lily, yes, John. We should also prioritize customer feedback and integrate it into our communication strategy. Understanding our customers' needs and preferences will enable us to tailor our messages and offerings more effectively. John, I completely agree, Lily. Let's also emphasize the importance of personalized communication to make our customers feel valued and understood. 
Building meaningful relationships through tailored interactions can significantly enhance customer loyalty and retention. Lily, definitely, John. I think we should invest in training our team members to communicate with empathy and professionalism, both internally and externally. Effective communication skills are vital for creating a positive brand image and fostering strong customer relationships. John, great point, Lily. I'll start working on a comprehensive communication roadmap that incorporates these strategies and guidelines. By implementing a well-defined communication plan, we can strengthen our market presence and drive sustainable business growth in the long run. And that is all for this English conversations section until we meet again. Don't forget to support this channel by like, share and subscribe and also to buy the best merch on my store in which I give a link in the description below. This is English Grammar Audio Tutorials signing off.